Um, there's something going on with this beer because it doesn't have a home. It doesn't even seem to have a recipe because 2.0 is a different recipe to, to 1.0. So this beer is almost just Hi guys, it's Jim here from Dr. Tankenstein with another episode of Beers of the British Isles. On today's episode, we're drinking Stormtrooper Galactic Pale Ale. Now, the reason I picked this beer up was because it intrigued me. First, I thought this was a, a trademark issue waiting to happen. Um, but then when you pick the beer up and you read it, um, you see that they've got all the appropriate licensing and stuff. And then um, I, I got this beer in, in Aldi, by the way, in a, in a four pack. Uh, and then when you read on, which is strange for a beer in Aldi, it's brewed by a proper brewery. It's brewed by St. Peter's Brewery. Um, so it kind of intrigued me. So I, I picked it up. And then you do a little bit of a, a dive into it, you know, a bit of a, a dig to find out a uh, bit of information about it. You can see that this this is Galactic Pale Ale um, One, I guess, brewed by St. Peter's. Galactic Pale Ale Two, 2.0, is brewed by Vocation Brewery. You know, the the Hebden Bridge Giants. Uh, so something, there's something going on with this this beer. Uh, like I say, Stormtrooper Galactic Pale Ale. This isn't just craft beer. This is spacecraft beer. Um, there's something going on with this beer because it doesn't have a home. It doesn't even seem to have a recipe because 2.0 is a different recipe to, to 1.0. So this beer is almost just a brand, if that makes sense. Someone has thought, right, I'm gonna make a Stormtrooper Galactic Pale Ale, um, you know, spacecraft beer. And I'm gonna ship it out and get breweries to make it for me and I'm gonna sell it. Um, now that sounds like uh, pigeon brewing, right? Or gy gypsy brewing, whatever you wanna call it. But it's not even that because they're, they're fully just saying on the back here which breweries made this beer. So it's very interesting. Um, and probably the most interesting part about it is it's also very well done. Like they've got all the appropriate licensing, um, all the designs, the, the Stormtrooper designs and stuff are all licensed, properly drawn. You know, you haven't got Stormtroopers with mustaches and stuff to try and hide the fact that they're uh, rip off Stormtroopers. It's all really well done. Um, so I'm intrigued by this. Um, I'm gonna dive in. Um, hopefully I'll be able to taste the galaxy. Okay, we're in the glass, we're all poured in. I have my spacecraft beer in the glass. Um, so let's have a look at it. So the glass is frosting up just a little bit. It's a pretty clear beer. Um, a nice kind of uh, bright golden color. Uh, so this is a Stormtrooper Galactic Pale Ale. It's a 4.2% pale ale. I think it's safe to say in this instance that uh, Galactic Pale Ale just means American Pale Ale. Um, I think that's probably a, a safe assumption. Um, it's like I say, 4.2%. Uh, no IBU information, um, but American Pale Ale is what I'm assuming. I imagine the grist is something like 90% Pale Ale, 10% Light Crystal Malt. Maybe there's 5% or so uh, Munich in there. Uh, that's how I would do it anyway. So let's have a look. Looks pretty good. Let's uh, give it a sniff. Yeah, It's pretty good actually. Uh, it's got a good uh, aroma to it. So. Um, 
it's kind of a very, very fruity, a uh, bit of a mishmash at the minute. But let me say, another thing that kind of intrigues me about this beer is that the hop profile is like uh, Ocean's Eleven. Remember Ocean's Eleven, everyone, you look at the cast of that and you're like, what? They've got, and George Clooney, what the hell? This, this is the same, you know, this kind of weird branded beer. Um, it has Galaxy, it has Motueka, it has Simcoe, it has First Goal, it has Artanem, it has Willamette. Basically, all your favorites in one beer. Uh, I mean, it's just weird to me. Uh, I mean, and the, the scent, the, the the aroma, rather, definitely reflects um, an intense hot profile, but I mean, I'll be honest, when I read that, I was wondering whether any of it will actually carry through. So let's, uh, let's see what it actually tastes like. Okay, so, Interesting. So it's the first thing that hits you really is is a maltiness, which is good. You know, for an American pale ale, you would expect a nice kind of a nice malty sweetness. Uh, not, not necessarily sweetness, but definitely malt forward in in the flavour. The hops is strange. It's kind of muddy. It's. Firstly, it's quite grassy. So I think they might have overdone the hops, to be honest. Uh, that Ocean's Eleven cast of, of hops that they've put in there, I think they might have just overdone it slightly. Um, but if you really look for it, if you, if you can look past the grassiness, um, then you do get a nice tropical flavor. The, the most interesting one, and this is becoming my favorite hop flavor to look for, so maybe this is just me, my own personal uh, bias, I guess. Um, the interesting one is there's actually a very nice peach flavor, just right at the back. In fact, you might only taste it when you burp. Um, but I would say malt smacks you in the face. It's actually after that then kind of grassy until you give way to that nice peachiness that comes through. Um, I guess that's what a spacecraft beer tastes like. Okay, then let's sum this up. Let's knock this one on the head. Let's uh, let you know what I thought of. Stormtrooper Galactic Pale Ale. Uh, firstly, the first thing, let me say, I'm super glad they used Galaxy in this beer. Because if they hadn't, I, you know, it's a complete missed opportunity there. Uh, so, I guess I have a few questions. It's, I picked this up on a whim because it, it seemed interesting, it seemed cool, it seemed like a, you know, something I, I've basically never seen before. It reminds me a bit of the, uh, the Red Bull model, you know, earlier in the day. Red Bull was, is, is or was. It's not necessarily a drinks brand. It's actually just a label that Red Bull put on things. Uh, this beer kind of reminded me a little bit of that. It's kind of like, you can make our beer and we'll give you full credit for it. People will buy it because it's our beer. And that, you know, that's kind of the model that I think that they're going for here. So. Yeah, I mean, there is a certain maltiness to it. There is, uh, yeah, I guess I don't actually know what the grist is, but the, the the malt bill kind of fits a pale ale. Malt bill, they've done a good job there. The rest of it, if I can be honest, if I can be absolutely 100% honest, it's, ju it's just too grassy. You know, they've thrown the, the cast of the Expendables at this, you know. What did I say? Uh, Galaxy, Motueka, First Gold, Willamette, Artanum, Simcoe. 
and I haven't done them in order, so I don't know if I've missed one out. Um, they threw the book at this thing, and there are so many awesome flavors gone in that I think that they've all just smashed into each other and made made a hop taste. You know, that's kind of it's kind of indistinct. Um, and maybe that's why they change breweries for the next one. So, I mean, who knows? You know, maybe this is getting better. Like I say, this is um, Galactic Pale Ale uh, 1.0, I guess. Maybe in a future episode, I'll uh, I'll follow up with 2.0. So, if I'm going to rate this on a scale of 0 to 10, uh, remember, I'm assuming that this is an American Pale Ale. Maybe this is a, the best Galactic Pale Ale you've ever had. Um, if I'm going to rate this 0 to 10. Uh, I'm gonna give this beer a four. And that doesn't mean that you won't like it either. You know, definitely head to Aldi, get yourself a nice, cool little four pack. It's got all the Stormtrooper uh, stuff on it. If you like Star Wars, maybe it'll just be a cool kind of piece of uh, memorabilia to have. Um, I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four because it promised so much, but everybody knows that beer is about balance. You can't just rely on throwing everything into one pot and thinking that you're gonna get all the good qualities of all those things and none of the bad qualities. Um, so for that reason, I'm giving this a four. Um, like I say, definitely check it out. They they hit the Pale Ale Malt profile, they just missed on the hops. Um, and as you drink this beer, as you uh, sip into your um, your field of dreams, beer, grassy, um, galactic pale ale, your spacecraft beer, uh, stick on Fet's Vet by MC Chris. It's the um, it's a song from Zack and Mary Make Porno when they're first going through the uh, the Star Wars theme thing. I just love that song. I don't know why. It just really really uh, sticks in my head, and I don't know any of the words to it. Uh, but it's really good. So, guys, check out Stormtrooper. Maybe check out Stormtrooper 2 and uh, let me know what you think of that one uh, because that's obviously uh, on my list now. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Get in touch. Um, until then, cheers. Cheers.